Oh my God. Let's just, I wanna know, I wanna know your name, your name, your name. Why you gotta be anonymous? What's your name, anonymous? <laughs> Oh my nigga, Bobby Valentino. Man, welcome to uh episode four of Talk Talk. I just <laughs> ran off on the plug twice. <laughs> Yo, this nigga Bobby Valentino. I love this guy. Welcome to episode four of Talk Talk, man. <laughs> Mrs. Officer, when I get up falling, huh? you can hear the sun rising for us. But when I'm in that thing, I make that body sing. I make it say, wee, wee. <laughs> my nigga, but, oh my God, that nigga ran off on the plug, do I? All right, look. Welcome to episode four of Talk Talk. <laughs> Where you hear about a lot of shit, but like I said, I was gonna be doing topics. This is the most funniest fucking topic ever. I said topic. I'm high. I'm sorry, but this is the most funniest topic ever. Like this. Oh my god. What we first topic? What we gonna do is my nigga. <laughs> Bobby Valentino will be my first topic. You want to know why? Well, allegedly, he was in uh, a hotel room. I guess he was paying for pussy or something. Well, allegedly pussy. I guess he was paying for pussy or something. He, he, he was just like, I guess he got done. He's like, fuck, nigga, forgot his shoes and everything and ran off because somebody, uh, the, the, the chick, allegedly, allegedly a chick, allegedly pulled out a camera. I was like, where my money? <laughs> where my money at? <laughs> oh my God, yo. Look, he ran. Like, he had, oh my God, they had a bunch of videos. Like, I saw some shit on Facebook. They had a bunch of videos, like, of him just, like, with a hood on. He said, they said he even brought a young little scrappy out and shit. But I don't think them niggas knew like this. He was fucking with a full transgender. No, no disrespect to the LGBT community, but like I know damn well, Scrappy and everybody else he had out. They don't, they don't go that way. They don't, they don't do that shit. And 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 Bobby Valentino want to continually front like he don't, but. Like, people out here saying, oh, my God, Bobby Valentino oh, uh, allegedly caught with a transgender. Okay. This is, like, his eighth time being caught. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to see, like, why y'all surprised. This is just funny because it's viral because he ran. Like, yeah, you, you, my nigga, you ain't pay. You ain't pay for that poor dick. That poor dick. Oh, my God. I can't. Uh-uh. What? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if, if I had, like, a, a weird sex fetish, oh, my God, I couldn't even think about this shit. Like, if I had a weird sex fetish like that, like, wouldn't you, like, at least be, like, and then you might have money. I don't even know if Bobby Valentino has money anyway. Like, I don't know anymore. Like, I mean, I hope he getting roared to yourself for every time his song plays or however, however the hell he gets his money. But... I don't know what the fuck this nigga is doing, man. This nigga is tripping. Like, he ran. Like, he didn't pay. Like, did he not come good enough? Like, did he not. Did, did the nigga bitch not, like. And, and, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong for saying nigga bitch, because this is. I'm new to this. I'm sorry. But, god damn it, Bobby. Mr. Valentino. Mr. Anonymous. You just had some anonymous poor. Deh. Whatever that shit is. And if she, I don't, man. Let me tell you. But anyways, this is episode four of Toilet Talk. And after watching uh, Everyday Struggle, them guys are pretty funny, man. I fuck with Everyday Struggle. 
like I really don't like Joe Budden, but I I I that that show was funny. I don't like Joe Budden just because of like his his opinion on hip hop. Like I loved Pump It Up. I know that's fucked up. I know that's so fucked up for me saying that I love Pump It Up, but I I I hate Joe Budden, but only for his opinions. Like otherwise, like I you know what I mean I respect him. I I know that he, that he fuck a lot of bad women. He's a smart businessman. I understand all that shit. I understand he's a personality now. I like him as a personality, but not as like a. I don't know if that even makes sense. I might sound like so retarded, but I like him as a personality, but not like. Like I just don't like him as a person. Like he's just an asshole sometimes. Like he's like basic. Ba okay, that's that's why I don't like him. He's just an asshole, straight an asshole. But this one, this 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 new shit they just put up, Everyday Struggle, oh my god, that shit is a fucking hilarious. Y'all need to watch that. And I, I, I will promote that shit. That shit was fucking funny. That shit was hilarious, man. I'm a, I am actually didn't even get finished watching it. I just, like, got hyper. Like, I was like, oh, shit. Dude. Like, this shit, I gotta go talk about this shit. But what the fuck? My nigga, mm. Bobby, hey. If I was Bobby Valentino, it's either, like, hang myself or come out with a gay song. Or not even a gay song. It was like, why you niggas? I, I, would, I would write a song about this shit. Like, like no, I don't pay for put dick. I come like that shit, nigga. Get straight to it. Leave after that. Then not even pay for it. Like, I, would, I, would come, I, would, I would start rapping if I was Bobby Valentino. Like, he could turn into a rock star off that shit. Like, he could just do that shit. But, like I said, it wouldn't be a toilet talk if I wasn't drinking beer on the toilet. You know. I don't give a fuck if my uh, bun is crooked. Nigga, I was chilling. Like I said, I was watching that everyday struggle shit. Y'all need to watch that every fucking day. I don't know when that shit come out. I just be watching that shit. Like, every time I get a chance, it's funny. Also, I uh, actually listen to Brilliant Idiots. Also, listen to, uh, man, uh, Free My Nigga Tax. Also, uh, listen to Tax Season on your podcast app a bunch. Listen to that shit a bunch. I do not like Joe Budden's podcast on there. I don't even remember what it's called. But uh, listen to that shit. Listen to motherfucking shit. I forgot. I ain't listening to. God damn. Uh, fuck. Chris one. Uh, my damn, man. I forget. Whatever. Listen to their podcast, too, if you guys like. You know what I mean? This shit is serious. But yeah, like that that shit was that shit was that shit is just fucking hilarious to me. I, I don't understand. But I just want to know this is my question for the day. And I don't have questions for the day. I just made that up. I'm making everything up as I go. No script shit right now at this second I will. But would you ever pay for pussy? Number one. Yeah, I'm making it number two, too. And for some reason, would you ever not pay for pussy? If you did pay for... If you said you was going to pay for the pussy and get all the way up there and not be like, oh, it wasn't that good, so I'm going to run. I mean, I understand he was running for the cameras, but this is hypothetical. So I'm going to just run. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull a bone gang. Yeah, nigga. Straight savage. On pussy too, like would you? Matter of fact, fuck that. Would you ever pull a bump challenge? On, <laughs> I'm talking shit, man. I don't like that nigga bunk either. I mean, I like him. I like him though. I like him because I. I mean, I know he just trying to grind and get the fucking. Uh, <clears throat> he well, he was trying to grind. I heard the videos was old as fuck, but I heard he was trying to grind. And I saw he was trying to grind, but that shit, man. You come it, when I used to work at Subway about. Shit, a year ago now, I used to work at Subway. I had retarded ass people come up in there. Somebody would have came up in there, bro. You know what I mean? Knives and shit behind the counter. I swear, I was like, I, as frustrated as I was at Subway, my nigga, I would have had to stab somebody. Like, fuck that. You come up in my shit trying to steal a tray of cookies or something. Hop up on that counter. I'm going to grab your leg. Make you hit your fucking head on the goddamn counter. Fuck that. I don't play that shit. Uh uh I mean... Like I'm a chef now, I cook. Like I, I can make my own recipes. I sell my own specials. But goddamn, you come up there like that. Mm -mm. Oh, play that shit. But 
like I said, man, this has been episode four of Toilet Talk. You guys got it a little bit early. I really don't know the schedule of this shit now, but you got it a little, a, a lot early, really. A lot early, but today was special. Today was very special, and it was just funny. I saw it, and it was it was funny. I saw this shit like, a, yes, I saw this shit yesterday, but I didn't see nothing until somebody started making fun of it, and it's fucking hilarious. So now I want to make fun of it, but I'm not making fun of the LGBT. If you're gay, bi, trans, bi, curious, all that shit, I don't. I'm not. I, I I'm I'm a, I'm a loving person. I love all y'all, man. It's y'all y'all make the world go round. Everybody makes the world go round. Pussy, money, and everything in the world makes the world go round. Everybody's special, man. But it's been episode four. Of toilet talk I will be back but y'all got that early y'all better be thankful you motherfuckers you man watch my next episode I don't know what the fuck it's gonna be about